Alrighty, y'all. I'm going with my Shimano medium heavy one piece rod with my Shimano FX 4000 series reel. And then for my rig, I'm going to be free lining on a size one out hook, J hook that is, with an assortment of Ballyhoo, Grunt, Pilchards, and Sardines for bait that I had from my last video guys so don't forget to check that out it was a banger but without any further ado y'all let's get into it let's get into it it's not so windy today at all at least for the moment so I'm not going with any weight like I said I'm gonna be freelining y'all let's go with a grunt this time guys I'm gonna hook this guy through the body just like that volunteer for our catching cook y'all let's see let's see if he volunteers for the catching cook in a bit be a volunteer buddy he got that grunt hanging still out his mouth easy pal easy 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 calm yourself oh yeah that guy's going to the He's gonna go in the box. We're gonna do a catch and cook with this guy. He's 10. Well over 10. 10's here. He's like 10 and a half. Look at that beautiful snapper that's coming for the box. Let that guy go in the box. Heck yeah, y'all. First one of the day. It's only been like 10 minutes. Max. Maybe even five. Put that guy in there. Let's get some more, y'all. Maybe one or two more. That's it. I'm not going to overdo it today, guys. I'm going to be doing a catch and cook on these fish here. As you guys requested in the comments, I'm going to be making it happen today. kind of dark today can't really see too well I'm already on it he's already on it I mean there he is there he is get up here boy it's another one he probably tend to Freelining, baby. I'm going to let this guy go back either way. I'm sure he's 10. Do my good deed for today. Let's measure him up. He's just 10, y'all. Like, literally. Either way, I'm letting him go back. Beautiful fish. He was a real strong one, y'all. I like to let some of those strong ones go, even though they're big enough, because I know they'll become smart enough or already smart enough to be able to elude a lot of people. So I let him go back. Later, buddy. All right, guys, I hooked the filter for my bait, but I cut up these ballyhoo chunks for the next baits. But the head, I just chopped that up real small, minus the beak or bill, whatever it's called. I'm going to chum that water. Let that sink a little bit. Locate the big ones with my eyes. Let them come out. And then I'll just drop this right on top of them like that. Let out some extra line, at least a couple yards, so that when he grabs it, he can run and not notice that he's hooked. Just got 
got picked up. And Swing got him. We on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I think that's a better fish. Oh, yeah. I think that might be the one. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Get up here. Heck, yeah. That's our second one. Let's go. That's a 12 all day, baby. That's at least 11. He's a fatty, too. Look at that guy, y'all. Look at that. That'll be number two. Double hook this up. Let go. There we go. Look at that beautiful fish. Nice fat mango. Nice fat mango. Oh yeah, he's 11 all day. We're gonna put him in the box. We got two guys. I don't know if I want to limit out and take some home to cook with the fam or stop here and just cook these up. I might limit out today, guys, just for the video sakes. Eh, why not cook some at home for the fam? So that's two guys. Both of them, I gotta need 10. Uh, the first one, I think he was 10 and a half. And this one, 11, probably in a quarter. Nice ones, first two. That's really all I need for this, the catching cook, though, guys. But it's not always only about me. So let's get some more. All right, guys, I cut up another piece of valley hooper chunk, and I, hook, I hooked another one on my my line. Let them come out for that. Bam, just like that. Perfect. Hook, line, and sinker. He got it. Eat it, though. I'm waiting for him to swallow it. I don't want him to just bite it. I think something got it. Yeah, he might got it. Yeah, he got it. He just don't know. <clears throat> got him. Oh, yeah. No, 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 buddy. No. No, buddy. Let's go. Hell, yeah. It's a nice one, baby. Heck, yeah, that guy goes 11 and a half all day. All day. Look at that. That's the secret, y'all. That's how you catch them. I'll be showing y'all how to catch them. I know a lot of other YouTuber ang YouTube anglers don't show too much of their tips. But me, guys, I feel like the universe is abundant. God's source spirit is always going to make sure I'm good. So I can make sure everybody else is good. That's how he continues to keep the cycle of blessings going, guys. But let's get this 12 inter in the box. We got 10 and a half, 11 and a quarter, and now 12 and a, uh, a 12 and a half. That's nice, guys. We got three back to back. It didn't take too long at all. We're gonna do a nice catch and cook. And I think all three of those fish, if I'm not mistaken, swallowed the hook. So they, I have to get those hooks back later when I clean them. Or if not, not at all. The head of that belly hoop. Throw that for chum. Take my hook. Being that I got a couple seconds hook a bait slightly bigger if not it has to be within the, the same size as the chum because those fish won't even check at it twice they're just going to be the first fish to grab it and he's going to run he got it and i got him let's go let's go oh come over here buddy oh that's a good fish that's probably the biggest one of the day Maybe not. Maybe yes. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. That's like 13. He's going in the box, baby. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, y'all. This literally takes no time today. This guy's definitely bigger than 12, but I want to make sure he's at least 10 for you guys on cam. Check that out, y'all. 10 goes here. He's I would say 11 and a quarter. That's four. Hey. That's just one more, guys. Just one more. Why didn't he 
Maybe grab it. Grab it, big snap, please. Oh, one got it. One got it. Got him. Oh. No, dude. Get back over here. Get back over here. Hell yeah. That gotta be number five. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Limit out right there on that big fatty. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I legit, guys, I legit had one more piece of bait. Just this one Ballyhoo chunk. And maybe this little piece. But that's it, y'all. Limit it out. In less than two hours. Probably less than an hour. Hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's our limit right there. Almost 11 inches. Easily 10 and a half. Fatty, though. He might be the fattest one of the day. Right in the corner of the lip with that hook set. Look at that. All right, y'all. We got our limit today. Now, get a couple of these guys cleaned up. And I'm probably going to head down to the beach and do that catch and cook right there on the grass, y'all. Next to that beach side. Beach side catch and cook on some beautiful snapper, y'all. Guess no better than that. See it. And I saved this little grunt for bait, just in case. Put this in here on top of those guys. Oh yeah, we got our limit quick, guys. And definitely no more than an hour and a half. Close that up. Alrighty, guys. Right here, I got my propane cooker. I got my pot for my fish, or my pan for the fish. And then I brought some broccoli today for a side, so I'm going to go with that in the pot, small pot. Salt and pepper lemon juice olive oil i got two nice mangrove snapper that you guys see me catch i got this aluminum foil just in case now i'm gonna just fire off this guys and i'm gonna just sear those mangrove snapper first things first so let's get to it first i need to turn on this some oil guys just a little bit just like that while I let that heat up I want to let my fish actually let's put the winds kind of picking up so I'm gonna crank this a little bit higher I want that to get kind of hot before I put the fish in there This is just a simple little catch and cook, y'all. The first one of many. Just oil the pan, the whole pan. Let that get hot. It's getting there, y'all. Crank it up a little bit. We cooking now. Let that bubble. We got this nice one. Put them right in there. Just like that. Put our other one right in there too. Just like that. sizzling now. Flip that guy over before. Just a little salt guys. When these cook a little bit more I'll hit it with the lemon juice. But I'm going to cover this up for the meantime. Keep my 
heat on. And I'm probably gonna make a heat shield for that thing. A wind shield. Just take a nice big piece of this. There we go. We cooking boys. that out y'all. Y'all wanted to catch and cook, now you got it. Right here on the beautiful beaches in Key Biscayne. My windshield, my windshield is kind of like uh, coming off. But I'm gonna make this happen. Let this cook evenly, first side, then I'll just flip them over and cook some more on the other side. Put my top back on. Look at that, yo. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells good. pepper. Now is when you want to go on with your lime juice. Hit this side with some salt. Guys, I know I'm doing a lot of shakes, but not much is coming out. I don't got the holes on these things open enough. Alright guys, hit that with a little bit of lime juice. A couple squirts of lime. Cover it back up for that second side. Just like that, yo. It don't get much better than that. Let that cook for a couple more minutes now that I can get both tails inside. Just like that, y'all. In the meantime, I'm gonna just pour this in here. It's just broccoli, guys. Just a little bit of broccoli for a side. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. Throw like half of that in there. That might be a little bit too much for little old me. But I already been having this thawed out, guys. So I'm gonna hit some salt, pepper in there. I just wanted to do the basic seasonings today. A little salt. Now it's coming out. A little pepper. This is so much harder than I thought, guys. I thought this was going to be a breeze, but actually the breeze is making it harder. Oh, yeah. What I went and did was I add some more lemon juice to the bottom so that bottom side that's touching the fire can steam and then I'll just keep flipping them on as needed. But with my windshield guys, you see what I did? I just took it, opened it up and sat it in the pan to block the wind which is coming from this direction. 
and then I'm just using my top for my pot, my pan to cover it to help it stay in, like wedge it in there. But you guys can see it, it's cooking now. When I first flipped that fish, it definitely wasn't ready, but oh yeah, that's a lot better. You saw that reflex disease, y'all? Drop a like for reflex disease. It's a disease. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. They get in there, y'all. I'm basically like boiling these fish in lemon juice and oil. So I'm gonna hit a little bit of oil more just to keep it moist and then I'll go in there with a couple more squirts of lemon juice I love that zesty sour lemon fish guys so I'm gonna throw some more on there and then I'm gonna put that top back on or at least my windshield in the top and then I'm gonna let that cook some more see once I put that shield guys you can see it's starting to boil instantly so it's very necessary to block that wind, especially on an open fire like that. So I'm going to just cover that up for a couple more minutes and let it cook all the way through the fish. Let that happen, let that happen baby. Let what's happening happen. Because now if you can see guys, it's boiling. So as long as it boils, it's going to cook the fish all the way through. And then I'm going to put that broccoli on for a couple minutes. And when I start picking at this fish, and then we're just going to eat some, y'all. And that's it. Check that out. We got our snapper. I could have did a lot better with these fish, guys. But I think they cook thoroughly. It's nice and soft. They absorb that meat. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Nice white meat still. Mm. Nice and moist. I got the broccoli on there now. Got my spoon to mix it with. I'm gonna just catch a little vibrate here, y'all. Mm, tasty. Add that there. I'm gonna just sit this here and cover it up for now. I like my, my broccoli, guys. A little bit firm. I don't like it all falling apart and stuff like that. I like it a little bit firm. So I'm gonna cook that for another maybe five or minutes or so five to ten minutes max and then I'm gonna plate this up and it's chow time guys then I'm gonna turn this camera around and let you guys see that then I'm gonna be kicked back relaxing I'm gonna wash up all my utensils and I'm gonna be out of here but first I'm gonna eat baby so let that broccoli finish cooking this fish is gonna stay hot as you can see it's still steaming I got it sitting right here covered up next time I'll probably fillet my fish guys but today we're gonna do it like this these fish are nice. Let's get one more piece. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. I got the mangrove snapper with the broccoli right here. Heck yeah, it's going down. Look at that plate, y'all. Let's just do it with my hand. It's my food. Look at that nice white meat, guys. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful mangrove snapper and broccoli right here on the water, guys. Right here in Kibis Cane on the water, baby. Guess no better than that. Captain Cook. Got myself a fork so that I can eat. And then I'm going to turn this camera around and show you guys me trying all this beautiful food.
maybe some from home, some on the road, some in a hotel or an Airbnb. I got a lot of things planned, guys. Thanks for subscribing once again. Thanks for showing love, commenting down below, and sharing these videos out. You guys don't know how much it means to me. I love you all. I'm going to finish my lunch. Hopefully you guys had a beautiful day like I did. If not better, God's willing, we